Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are. Remember, you have greatness inside of you. Welcome back to another edition of the Ab Daily News with your hockey coach, Guru Ko Frenchy. Today, episode number 162. What do you have with the menu coach? First of all, first of all, we're going to talk about the different news for the Montreal Canadian. The Montreal Canadiens are going to play again the Sabres tonight, so a preview game. Then at the end, I want to talk about Jordan Arisa, his impact for the Montreal Canadiens. So let's talk about the first subject of the day. Before we talk about the preview game, guys, I want to mention the Montreal Canadiens are going to be on the road for four games. First stop, the Buffalo Sabres, following by St. Louis Blues, the Winnipeg Jets, and the Minnesota Wild. Was confirmed by the Montreal Canadiens, Yorai Safkowski is going to be a part of this trip. And then they returned to Laval Rocket, Corey Shoneman, yesterday. And finally, they confirm Joel Emerson and Joel Amir are going to be a part of the trip. And they expect both of them at some point to be in the roster or the lineup for the Montreal Canadian. Let's preview the game between the Montreal Canadian versus the Sabres. Like you know, I love the analytics. I'm going to give you different number. I think they are really interesting to see a little bit more about who the Montreal Canadian are after seven games. First of all, the but by goal, goal per game. The Buffalo Sabres are dominate 3.8 versus 2.4. Goal against uh, advantage the Buffalo Sabres 2.7 versus 3.0. Shot on the net uh, for per game, uh, little bit advantage the Montreal Canadiens. Shot against uh, Buffalo gave a lot of shot 36.3. The goaltending since the beginning season, Camry Anderson doing very well. The power play. Advantage of Buffalo 13.6. We know Montreal is at the bottom with 4.8. On the PK, Advantage Montreal to Canadian at 85.7 versus 76.2. Something possibly Montreal could take advantage of the PK for the Buffalo Sabres. The leader for both teams, most gold, Caulfield 5. Alex Stock is at 6 and most points. What a season so far for Dallin with 9.5 gold for assists. He is at 7 points. Most a minute per game, Savart over 22, Dallin over 24. Finally, both goaltender have two W, Jake Allen for the Montreal and Eric Comrie for the Buffalo Sabres. Uh, the next thing I want to talk about, uh, this is a statistic I like to watch a lot, is the X goal. So the X goal is the chance opportunities uh, they have since the beginning of the season. It's dominated by Gallagher, guy. 2.7. Uh, we know Gallagher have a couple of percent, two versus one or a breakaway. Then followed by Monen, uh, Zuzuki, Caulfield, Anderson, Dak, Hoffman, of what slay at the bottom. You can see that they were Rack, Evans, Dadanov, and Drouin. All four player guys, uh, all together, they have only one goal. Uh, Safkowski at the bottom with Pit Lake. The next thing I want to talk about, guys, is the percentage of uh, five versus five shot attempts against block. And the Montreal Canadian stop the most block shot at 32 point eight we know david saval he is the number one in nhl the next thing i want to talk about is the quality per five versus five shot attempts against and montreal right now gave a lot of chance on the and from the net they are 7.4 the number three in nhl it's not good when you think about this they give a lot of quality of the shot the next thing i want to talk about guys is a bit about the montreal canadian with friends stat first of all the montreal canadian on the face off this year are 50 51.0. They are 13 in NHL. This because Monahan and Devorak Rack have a good year so far. The Montreal Canadian and X goal, they are 23rd in NHL with 45.8. Then the high danger scoring against, not four. Again, they are gave 20 so far. They are number three. The problem Montreal Canadian is in front of the net. They gave a lot of rebound. Or they don't win the battle of the puck and they give a lot of high danger scoring to open a team. The giveaway against they are number one guys with 103 giveaway puck. They are number one in NHL and they are the second in NHL. It's 52 less giveaway. The Montreal Canadiens struggle on the giveaway puck. 86 of the 103 guy is on different zone. So they turn around the puck. They gave chance, and that's really, look, what I just said, the high danger scoring against is high because they gave away too many puck and their defensive zone. The block shot, 99, they are number one. We're just talking about this. And then the hit giving, 
They only gave one of the 24 hit so far in NHL. There are 26. Just want to give you every time I'm talking about a preview game. It's friend stat for Montreal where they are. Finally, Matt taking for the game tonight. Uh, Montreal Canadian have to be sure they don't give too much the transition for Dallin or Power to control the puck. Uh, they have to pay attention to the first line. And uh, they are really good. Thompson, Alex Stock have already six goals this year with Jeff Skinner. But the three other line can score. And then the power play of the Buffalo Sabre is excellent. And then Montreal Canadian to have a chance to win tonight. The special team. The power play have to find a way to put the puck in the net. And shoot the puck more on the net. And go and find the net. The Montreal play too much on the perimeter. And that's the one problem they have since the beginning of the season. So my prediction for tonight. Of course, Buffalo is going to win by the score of 3-2 or 4-3. We expect Samuel Montembo between the pipe for the Montreal Canadiens. And then because this is done before 11 o'clock, we know Montreal Canadiens are going to be on the eyes at the Buffalo's rink this morning. So I don't have a chance to give you most of the last update for the roster. But if I look on the daily.com, this is the lineup for the Buffalo Sabres. This is the four line. You can look about this. They have two rookies inside the new team this year. It's a Peterka and uh, Jack Quinn, two excellent players. Uh, we know so far, middle stat have a good year uh, with them. And Carson, of course, another great young hockey player for the Buffalo Sabres. Finally, for the Montreal Canadiens, no chance. What I know, we'll see if uh, Martin St. Louis is going to make some chance. Obviously, when the video will be out, uh, I would have no clue what happening. So it's something we have to follow up. Please uh, don't forget to join me tonight for the play-by-play -play with the Hockey Nation live show. We're going to start at 7 o'clock p.m. We're going to give you all the update around the Montreal and the end uh, before the game starts. Uh, this complete, guys, the first subject of the day. Let's move on for the next subject. Next subject, guys, let's talk about the ad news. Uh, Montreal Canadian make a trade yesterday with the Chicago Blackhawks. I can't say this as a minor trade, but maybe you would like to know more, a little bit more about them. First of all, the trade uh, Cam Ellis uh, to the Chicago in return, they got uh, Nicolas Baudin, born in Chateauguay in Quebec. Uh, so that would be a good additional plus for the Montreal Canadiens to get Baudin. Baudin was a 27 overall pick in 2018 for the Chicago Blackhawks. Play only 22 games in initial with two goals, four assists and six points. Play only one game last year in Chicago. Most of his time has been in American Hockey League. And then we expect him uh, to play, honestly, in the American Hockey League with the Laval Rocket. For the Montreal Canadiens, Ellis never been in the plan of the Montreal for the last two seasons. It was the draft by Marc Bergeron and Trevor Timmons in 2018, the same year like Baudin. And he was 66 uh, overall pick, third round. He played only one game. He was played at the East Coast Hockey League for the 12-year Lions. This guy is a minor trait. Don't expect too much for Baudin. Again, he's only 23 years old. We'll see if Montreal can make something better for him. He's a left defenseman, by the way. And uh, he have a great skater. He have a great year uh, when he played in QM with the Drummondville Valtigeur. This complete, guys, uh, all the news about the Montreal Canadiens. Let's move on now for the last subject of the day. The last subject of the day, guys, is about Jordan Harris. Uh, I feel like everybody talk about Kaden Coley, Yuri Safkowski, Jack I become the favorite players for the fans. But everybody forget Jordan Harris uh, behind those players. Uh, and I will tell you why, for me, I really like this kid. Uh, First of all, he played 25 minutes last game. He was the most uh, player with the most TOI. He blocked seven shots against the Minnesota Wild. Uh, he played three minutes at 49 and the last five minutes of the game, guys. Uh, so just to give you an idea where Iris bring a lot on the table for the Montreal Canadiens. Uh, one thing they talk about him, whatever is a player for the Montreal Canadiens as a teammate, uh, they said uh, his skating is excellent. His edge work is Unbelievable. Whatsoever, you don't have a, an explosive on skating. It's just his stride is perfectly great with the speed he bring on the ice. Uh, so something is really good about Aris that helping him on his front area to get better. Like I just mentioned to you guys, the help of the recovery pack, the battle he faced, the way he's pushing himself, the way he's pinch, the way he does his cap control, and the way he joined the rush. That's the reason 
why Jordan Harris is so good so far is because of his skating. Then finally, I want to mention this from David Sava. He said, look, one thing is really good is he's really intelligent players. So when you are a great, when you have a great IQ sense, that helping them to read the play, to anticipate what's coming, and that's helping the player to have a better performance on the eyes. And I think they heard from Kovacevic about Jordan Harris. said, look, his age, 22 years old, he is really mature. We know he was a captain for the Northeastern and the NCAA for the last few years. He's another one like Kenan Cooley, have those kind of maturity with the Montreal Canadiens as a hockey player. He's really consistent since the beginning of the season. He is the best second pairing defenseman on the X goal versus the X goal against with the Kovacevic. And then he does a lot of things. It's not on the eye lights. What I'm talking about, but it's not a guy to fight. It's not a guy to push someone over the board with a big hit. But a guy, he, play, he show up every single game. He gave his max all the time. And honestly, because he's really good with skating, like I just mentioned to you, he make the most consistency player so far since the beginning of the season with the Montreal Canadiens after seven games. So I just want to share a little bit more to know a little bit more about Jordan Iris. The next couple of days, I would love to make a video for you guys about Iris with a little bit more deeper analytic he got so far since the beginning of the season. And that's complete, guys. Everything we have for you for all the subject for the episode 162. Too. Hopefully, guys, you enjoy it. But before we leave, we invite you. Don't forget to click on the like, subscribe to our Kinesia Life Show. And of course, leave me a comment. So tell me about this episode. Just want to remind you, we're going to do the play-by-play -play tonight uh, of the live streaming Montreal Canadiens versus the Buffalo Sabres. Game number eight uh, for the Montreal Canadiens. They are 3 4 0. And then finally, I want to mention one more thing. So, and you know what's coming. Yes. You have greatness inside of you, and I wish you an amazing, blessing day, everybody. Mm -hmm.